Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing this morning? Good? Now, this is the three-year-old me. And this person with the bow and arrow holds the keys to creativity because he's got this incredible open imagination and he's constantly drawing outside the lines because he doesn't see the lines. And he can do this because he doesn't know, understand, or care about the rules. But as we go through life, we naturally start to learn all the rules. The rules of law, the rules of work, the rules of relationships, and a million other tiny unwritten rules that we start to follow. And we love the rules because they keep us safe because they give us dependable and predictable outcomes. And in life, that's what we want. If I'm driving in my car and I've got a green light, and you're driving in your car and you've got a red light, I love knowing that when we get to the intersection, you're going to stop, right? In the real world, we want and need predictable outcomes. But creativity is not the real world. In the world of creativity, we want incredible outcomes. We want amazing outcomes. We want outcomes we never could have imagined at the beginning of the process. And for that, we need to step outside the rules. So let's try a little experiment and see the difference. Baby, baby, don't be late. World is ending, I can't change the way I feel about you now. New York is cold as ever. But still I go out every night. Hide myself among the lights Bathing all the pretty things the city brings Our bodies glisten and they shine Like the stars we're born to die Like these roses we all fade I'm counting the chords On the freeway below Lost in the music All the foolishness of our lives Spinning out of control Lost in the music in the music. I'm looking for a volunteer who would normally never step outside of their safety zone. <laughs> I'm looking for someone that would love to, that would usually stay at the back of the class. You're not that person. That's a good sign. What's your name? I'm talking to you. What, what's your name? Ivana. Ivana? Would you come with me? Ivana? <laughs> So I need both hands, one here and one here. Okay. I picked someone very physically fit because her heartbeat is like, oh. That's more. What's wrong, Ivana? <laughs> so usually, the band would come in instrument after instrument, and when the instrument plays, usually the heart slows down. I was signed to EMI Records in Canada for 10 years, and in my time there, they went from 400 employees down to around 30. They were a big, established, slow-moving company. They didn't like change, they didn't want change, but the internet came and changed their business. In this new environment, creativity is not a risk or a luxury. It's really a necessity. Right here. Okay. Hi, David. This Hi. is actually kind of scary to ask a question in front of all these people, but I'll do my best. Okay? <laughs> Think of how I feel. Yeah. I, I can't get imagine. The camera on you? Can we get the camera down here? <laughs> Thanks very much for that. Um, there we are. Uh, I lost what I was going to say, but I'll. Ew. But, you know, I've heard lately people talk about the fact that there is no such thing as talent. There's exactly what you said. There's ideas, there's work, there's process, and it ends. But at the same time, you're up there and I'm sitting here. Um, so. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I, I think someone's going to get a, someone's going to get a hug right oh, now. That's, hug it out. Oh! More than nails. More than nails, more than this, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much.